Hi folks. Um, this video, I want to go back to the topic in hand and discuss um, just how I feel about being underrepresented um, and undervalued in NH, hashtag NH politics because our state really takes their, um, they take their politics very literally and not only that, um, it's very elitist, but yet they're not really elite for that matter. Um, there's a lot of fear, um, one of them, misperceptions about how our, our government works. Um, for example, um, a lot of people on podcasts will say the United States as a whole is going towards this direct democracy while we are a representative republic. But in New Hampshire, I go, I make an argument that we are, are, are we, I don't feel like we're part of the United States because there's the, the free seers that want to break um, secession se 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 and um, we don't follow norms like other states because we're exceptional. New Hampshire is the greatest state for typical white Francos, right? Um, but I make a case that New Hampshire is a direct democracy state and there are other people that feel represented. So one of the things um, that you, you'll hear um, in our, um, the, 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 uh, I don't know how to word this, I'm, I'm ad-libbing this morning. When you watch the news on WMUR TV, for example, they, um, the political reporter lives in Concord because his wife is a city councilor and um, talk about the conflicts of interest within the station's news operation, let alone the beat. Um, Sexton will, gives an open line, Adam Sexton, the political reporter, um, will just hand the, the ANG microphone, uh, stands for electronic news gathering, by the way, um, will just ha hand over the microphone, it's like an open mic, to anybody that is a boss bitch. And Amanda, if you listen or watch the Weekly Zoo, I make fun of this character named Amanda, who's a type A personality, narcissist, gaslighter, and is all about me attitude. And that's what you see on WMR on a daily basis from Concord. They're always at the, the legislative office building, which is where the conferences, where the legislators meet um, for committees and whatever. And that's where the people, um, the act, the, the advocates or the activists for that matter um, go on camera and um, mostly it's WMUR that has the mic and camera um, and um, it's again it's there's one person which is often a pretty face type A personality female boss bitch that's on that's on that's on on, on, on camera um, you never see, well, you might see some victims, and that's their democracy. People in power, quote unquote, they're not rich or ritzy, or, but they're in a ritzy position, a cush job, and they get the TV time and the micro, the air time. I mean, WZID used to have a news operation. They used to send their morning news person slash news director to conquer and you see the WCID mic flag. I've not seen the WCID mic flag in years. Okay, so they don't do news anymore. They rip and read, um, which is which is which is a really disservice to the state, the real democracy. But you know, in the disability, so-called disability rights, that is highly representative. Again, by mostly women, mostly affluent Caucasian women with. I'm sorry to say educational background of higher, uh, higher stuff. And these people, um, these people have, um, they have the narrative. So just like all the other activists and advocates and victims and, and crap like that, they pick and choose who should be represented. So, so much for a direct democracy, right? 
And most people with disabilities are people who have a visible condition. They're on wheelchairs or on crutches or something that is a 1970s interpretation of disability. Self-advocacy is a whole nother problem. That is a whole nother uh, topic. I think um, I wasn't taught advocacy because I was in Massachusetts for my out-of-district programs. Um, but somehow, I think um, advocating every hour on the hour, every minute, every second of a, a living day is not necessary. There are certain times when you should advocate, like at the start of every um, even winter, if I'm remembering correctly, because that would be the budget season, because our biennial budget every two years, the budget season is, wait a minute, I'm sorry, it's an even year even year um because we went to um advocate in the winter of 2009 so that would be the odd year sorry it's just a little a little bit because the even year is the ha the second half of the other the fiscal year that they, they de-budget every two years um new hampshire is not the only thing kevin mika does that too so it's not completely out of the norms um but um, but again, uh, people just advocate, 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 advocate. But that's that's the flip side of this. Because then the problem is you get into this direct democracy of the type A Amanda Bosbitt, uh querying for the media attention for her own cause that the, the people she really doesn't care about. And this is the reality in New Hampshire: the direct democracy theory is real in terms of the advocacy of the groups of people, but they pick and choose who they want to represent. And the representative, um, in particularly the disability, is highly representative. Um, you could ask, you know, well, do you have a seat on the table? I have. I was in the planning in a much different way, non-traditional, but I was on the planning committee of the annual conference from 2012 to 2016, and um, I was stonewalled. Okay, so and they picked and choose who the, they they had the, the the golden child, although they're well grown up, but they were treated like only golden children, and um, and I was the scapegoat for most of that time. So that's what the democracy in New Hampshire is. It's very selective. Um, because if you have someone's invisible you to see, well, you're to, you're just going to ruin the entire um, crop of people. In theory, you're you're going to ruin it because you're not disabled enough. Um, again, you're not going to hear this in any of our media outlets. You're not going to hear it in the, particularly the disability uh, scribes, which look like they're more biased than a train magazine. Um, they have no journalism standards whatsoever. Um, they will advocate non-issues as an issue, and it just keeps going with the, the donkeys versus the elephants, who you know don't fuck each other, but they're gonna. It's kind of like a war. Everything's a war. It doesn't have to be. Um, and you think, oh, the Republicans are stoking the debate. No, the Democrats are doing it too. The, the lefties are are just as um, just as shallow as the Alfred Baldazzaro types. And it makes it really, really, um, it, it's, it's to the point where um, a lot of people don't advocate. A lot of families don't advocate. A lot of individuals, well, maybe some individuals, I won't say a lot. Um, it, it, let's put it this way. When I was right on my personal Facebook about what's going on, I get people to message me, and they would they would agree with me in private. Um, I, I think I can't speak for them. But I think some of them that don't speak up are probably in fear of the repercussions and being ostracized if they're already not ostracized to begin with. Um, this state is completely effed up, and don't tell me, well, every state is always like this. There's always been political stuff, and it takes forever for change to happen. Yeah, justify, 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 justify. 
The problem is we have narcissists running the narrative. We have narcissist publicists, we have narcissist public speakers, we have narcissistic journalists, narcissistic um, news operations, narcissistic um, politicians. They're all doing it for their own gain. It's each man or woman for their own. And this is why New Hampshire will be the first state to fall of the all the 50 states in, this, in the United States. New Hampshire will be the first to go down unless we start holding everyone's feet to the fire. I don't know how Adam Sexton can just literally hold a microphone and his photographer, whoever the hell is his photographer is, just recording things and not understanding the, the outcomes when you air it on TV and what kind of unintended consequences comes from a different type of direct democracy and selective representation. The state really, 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 really blows. It's like you want to just give your free markets and say, F you bitches, I'm going to go into the boonies to the more empathetic people, the people that aren't going to go to Concord. They know that their voices won't be heard, but they'll just, they've radically accepted it. I've basically radically accepted it since 2016, although sometimes I laugh, sometimes I cry, and I'm just like, what the fuck, some days. This is this this is the this is the direction when you, when autocracy this is the path to autocracy, to be blunt. So have a great weekend. Stay hopeless if you're not stay in mind, because if you're like me, what what what's what's there to live for? Till next time, bye.